Good day. Today we'll be presenting on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal Number no. 7, which is affordable and clean energy. The presentation is a proposal to implement a mathematical model in rural India to achieve sustainability goals using renewable energy. Since India lives in villages, approximately 74% of the population lives in rural areas. India is also a developing country due to which the energy demand is rising in a day-to-day -day basis. India has 100% electrical connectivity but not 100% electrification since most of the grid produced electricity is consumed by the urban areas, leaving little for these rural areas. Many state electricity boards refuse to extend the grid connection lines to the rural areas as it consumes time and investment while not producing enough profitable returns. This forces the villagers to not have electricity or use alternate methods to do so. Abiding by the SDG 7, it is better if the villagers are not dependent on fossil fuel dominated grid connection from the inception itself. They should be able to produce the electrical energy for them by clean sources and hence off-grid system becomes a necessity. Moving on, since 61% of the electrical generation of India is dependent on fossil fuels, it is advisable to not be dependent on this. Even though on-grid operations can deliver heavy loads stably during operation, they also face electricity failure during load shedding and have high operation and maintenance costs. While off-grid systems depend mainly on renewable sources like solar or wind, though they cannot deliver heavy loads and are intermittent as of now, but they do not have any electricity failures and the operation and maintenance costs are lower. Importantly, off-grid systems have no governing body which makes you the sole owner of the system, whereas on-grid systems have state or central electricity bodies. India is geographically diverse. We have the Himalayas in the north, the Deccan Plateau in the center, and the east and the west coast. This gives us different regions having different sources of energy harvesting. The energy demand also plays an important role where a the change in population density makes it for more or less energy demand from the grid or from the off-grid system. The energy prospect also is key to these roles since it is not only how but also how much energy can be harvested from those regions. And similarly design and rating is dependent on these aspects since the requirement should be met but also the excess produce should be given back to the grid. Hence, a mathematical model is required to find the optimum and the best source of energy for that particular region. Here are the variables and the dependencies. For example, if we want the prospects of solar energy, we will require the daily average solar irradiance of that particular place. Similarly, for wind energy prospects, we will require wind profiles and the elevation. The population density and urbanization of that particular region are required to find the energy demand and the technology is required to find the investment cost. For example, a hydroelectric power plant will be costing more than a solar power plant. The annual savings determine the return on investment. Similarly, here is a case study on Thar Desert which is in western Rajasthan. This region has high daily solar irradiance, very less rainfall and no water source available. It has moderately strong winds and average annual temperature of 27.5 degrees Celsius. Hence, the best renewable source is solar thermal and PV followed by wind. Jaisalmer, a town in western Rajasthan, has the largest onshore wind farm in India. Next comes the Ladakh district in India which is placed up top among the Himalayan ranges having an elevation about 4200 meters. It has less rainfall but it has available water source with high daily average solar irradiance along with prospects for geothermal energy. Hence the best source of energy becomes wind followed by hydroelectric. Solar is possible but since it is a mountainous terrain with many slopes it is unadvisable to implement solar in this region. Also, due to the elevation and the water abundant sea, hydroelectric power plant also becomes a favorite as an alternate. Radak also has rich sources of geothermal, but this technology is still in its nascent stages. 
for India. As a conclusion, a mathematical model provides the best prospective energy outcome for that region. It would not only impact the energy sector but also help employment where people in the villages are provided with jobs to maintain their respective systems and ensure electrical transmission. Importantly, academic institutions are the best option for this as this can provide a learning experience along with educational knowledge in this sector which will definitely benefit the nation in the long run. Even organizations can look for village adoption where they target the SDG 7 that is affordable and clean energy as a part of their CSR. Thank you.